2012 um, is Art of the Cure. The energy is stunning. And there's 800 people, which I think is bigger than ever. Yeah, I think it's the place to be. There's a lot, you know, just kind of walking around, I see a lot of kind of names and faces that I recognize. What I'm very pleased about is so many people have come to support such a great cause. I'm blown away every year by the generosity and the support of this community. It's overwhelming. As you know, I sit on the board, and we made a commitment to raising a million dollars this year. You know, it's a great cause. Uh, it's an amazing charity. They're fiscally responsible. You know, diabetes is everywhere. And so it's, it's really hard to find one person here that doesn't have some sort of connection. This event is really all about our youth ambassadors. Um, we're here to find a cure for the disease of the kids that are youth ambassadors and the adults who were kids at one point in time and are now grown up and still have type 1 diabetes. So this is their moment to shine. JDRF has made them feel like they're not alone. All of these people are inspirational for coming here and helping to find a cure. The money that we raise funds research not only for cure but for technology that ultimately makes their life just a little bit easier until we find a cure. We're here to raise a million dollars or more. There are so many items up for bid. There's a car and there's a motorcycle and there's bikes and purses and it's awesome. We have the new bid pal people can use to either make donations or just bid on items that they're interested in. And as soon as they find out that they have been outbid, they don't want to lose. They are going to outbid the next guy. I have my yeah. eye on a beautiful necklace. <laughs> I myself have my eyes on the Brett Michaels guitar. We have some amazing people coming. Um, Brad Garrett, he's uh, lending his time here. We have Carrot Top, who's a great performer here. Clint Holmes, of course, is hosting. Uh, he's on our board, in fact. We have uh, Jabberwocky. We have David Copperfield. He is going to present something that he's done for us. So, yeah, we had some amazing people coming out of the woodwork. The other special part of the evening, obviously, is our honoree, Bill Hornbuckle. He has been a huge supporter of JDRF for many years, and this is really our opportunity to say thank you, Bill, for all you've done, not only for JDRF, but for everybody in the community. It's, it's wonderful that they chose to come and support this. Uh, it's a great, great research, great foundation, um, and it's great that I could help. He's a great guy, he's a leader in the community, and um, we couldn't have a better honoree. The community truly has a caring and loving heart and often steps out. This is one more incident where once again it's come forward, and I'm very grateful for that and very thankful, um, and hopefully a lot of benefit will come from it.